I'm here with a local face we know, JT Hodges, playing Jake in Part of the Plan here at TPAC coming up uh, in a couple of weeks in Nashville. Are you freaking out? I mean, you've been part of the show for how long now? Well, I did the reading last yeah. fall, yeah. Uh, which was amazing. And now we're, you know, I'm, I'm honored to be a part uh, of the cast officially. And uh, yeah, this is, we've been running. We're about two weeks now, and it's, it's, it's exciting. Yeah. I'm, I'm freaking out in a good way. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I feel like we're starting to get into a rhythm with this. And uh, the great thing, each day we all just get better and better. And, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to everybody in Nashville seeing it. Yeah, it's going to be a great show. So tell me about uh, your inspiration of Dan Fogelberg as a musician. Wow, well, you know, me growing up in, uh, in Fort Worth, Texas, my parents are musicians. My dad started up uh, Buffalo Sound Studios. I pay him a little tribute to him right now. But, uh, it was the first multi-track recording studio ever built in Fort Worth, Texas. So he had an audio library of so much music. And, you know, Dan Fogelberg was there, but, you know, everything from Bruce Springsteen to George Strait to U2, I mean, it was everything. I listened to everything. So a great song was what I started to become a fan of. And uh, Dan Fogelberg was obviously a great songwriter. Yeah. And when I heard that they were putting his music to an original story, uh, Kate and Karen's script is incredible. I, 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 I was, through the reading, I was able to say, wow, this is... Just, just makes sense together. So, in, in that regard, it's definitely uh, brought me back to like when I was a kid here and later in the band and, and longer than. And, and so, um, yeah, it, it, it kind of hits home with me. And, and, and as a songwriter in Nashville and an artist, it's also been inspiring. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, later on down the line when I have a little bit more time to uh, write again. So, write, write, you know, now that I've been inspired by Dan. So, it's really cool. Yeah. Okay. So, all your castmates are from out of town. Are you giving them the good Nashville hospitality we're all supposed to show? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thank you. Bless your heart. <laughs> That's everyone's favorite. <laughs> oh, so after we get done with this show, I know you're like entrenched in the in the work of the show right now, but what mm. can we see from J.T. Hodges coming? <clears throat> no. Well, for me, I'm always recording new music. I'm actually working on an acoustic record. Oh, wow. I'd like to be able to put out by the beginning of uh, 2018. Uh, it would make most sense for the first two quarters uh, as far as I, what I'm trying to do. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited about that. Uh, I've got a couple of other new ventures that I can't quite talk about yet, but it's, uh, it's, it's one of those... It's interesting the things that I've gone in my life that I'm doing a musical called Part of the Plan. That's all I can say about all the other things. It's it's starting to be to be that, which is so exciting. So there's part also of the plan is part of the plan. There is a part of the plan as I'm doing part of the plan, and it's exciting, and it it goes way beyond just me putting out records because I'm always going to do that. But this is a new thing, and I'm. I'll make sure I get to tell you about it when the time's right. Well, I cannot wait to hear about it. JT, it's been a pleasure. Always, my brother.